Consuls General, distinguished guests, I think as has already been demonstrated, if I attempt to individualize the uh, distinguished guests that we have here, I'd be here for a very long period of time. But I would like, first of all, to thank George and all of those at SONY for making available to us uh, this uh, fantastic site uh, for our uh, evening's uh, event. Uh, SONY, of course, are at the, the cutting edge of technology as uh, George demonstrated, I'm dying to have a go with this uh, helmet on. I hope he'll let me have a uh, look at it. I wonder what film was he watching while he was talking to us? Uh, but it, it, uh, it is a delight to, to be here. I'm also deeply appreciative of the uh, ITLG for uh, inviting us here and giving us an opportunity to, to speak and to showcase Northern Ireland. And I'd like to say to all of those that we have met, and we've uh, met quite a lot of people over the last few days, we really have been encouraged by the, the meetings that we have had. We hope that we can follow up with a, a lot of you. We believe that Northern Ireland really does have something to offer. If I can follow on maybe from Liam, he talked about uh, home. And I suppose that we, we have to face up to the reality that probably all of you have heard of Northern Ireland, but probably most of you have heard of it for all of the wrong reasons. Uh, we are a people that have had uh, centuries of conflict. Uh, we have had division, and with that uh, conflict and division, we have had many people who have died and many people who have been injured. It stagnated industry and commerce in Northern Ireland and left little hope for our young people. However, this generation of politicians has been prepared to take decisions that those who went before us did not. And we have determined that we will not hand on to the next generation that which was handed down to us. And now we have a transformation in Northern Ireland, a transformation in terms of the life of the province and the hopes and expectations of the people that live there. We have a, a province that has now political stability and is now moving ahead moving forward in terms of business and investment and an opportunity for young people to stay where they were born, where they were raised, where they have been educated and to offer back to society the talents and the skills and the education that they have received. The other transformation, of course, is in terms of how Northern Ireland's commerce and industry has been based. Northern Ireland was at the forefront of shipbuilding. We had the greatest shipbuilders in the world at Harland and Wolfe. They uh, built the Titanic and if all of the English who are here will close their ears. It was all right when it left uh, Belfast before we handed it over. Uh, and we have, uh, of course, the, the first commercial aviation contract was from Shorts uh, in Belfast as well. However, times have changed, and on the, the site where the Titanic was built, we now have the Center for Financial and Business Services and for the Creative Industries. We have probably the largest studio in Europe in the Paint Hall. We have been delighted to have uh, many of the uh, people from LA over to Northern Ireland to, to look at it, and some to stay. Some stayed to do Game of Thrones, a fantastic production, which uh, I hope in the next number of days uh, will be rewarded for the innovation and for the uh, creativity that they have shown. Universal Studios have been there. We've had many films. Uh, I'm not sure that Liam has been in too many of them, but uh, I think that you will recognize that we have in Northern Ireland not just a new back cloth or new scenery for people to come to. But we have a place with young people who are the smartest in the whole of the United Kingdom. Exam results show that we have the best talent in the United Kingdom. And if the uh, Irish Consul General closes his ear, the best on the island of Ireland uh, as well. Uh, so we have a lot to offer in terms of our, our young people. We have a, a good competitive edge over all of those around us uh, in Europe. Uh, and of course, we have the ability through our telecoms links uh, to get uh, data to New York, 
faster than the people of California can get it to New York. That's the progress that is uh, being made. 100% broadband, we're now rolling out the next generation. So Northern Ireland is a place that I think you must look at, and we'll be the happiest people if somebody would tap us on the shoulder and say, look, I'd like to come to Northern Ireland. You'll be very welcome. Uh, that uh, welcome that you will get in Northern Ireland is, uh, is not beaten anywhere else in the world. We're a small country, but we have a proud history, and I hope that we have a fantastic future. Thank you.